It's impossible to imagine Bradford, Pennsylvania, separate from the comforting cradle of the Allegheny foothills, and just as difficult to conceive of this picturesque rural community outside the protective shadow of its beloved hospital. Since 1887, the Bradford Regional Medical Center has been working side by side, year by year, caring for our community. There has to be a bond between a community and the hospital because we need each other. The community needs the hospital, but the hospital also needs the community. I've lived here most of my adult life. I came here in my senior year of high school, and uh, even though it's called BRMC, I, I really look at it, at it as my Bradford Hospital. I'm most proud of the fact that, that the hospital uh, has been able to reinvent itself always. And um, I'm proud of the fact that we've all adapted to change. It all began with a gift. A converted farmhouse eventually updated with electricity. Forward thinking men and women of the time saw the Bradford Hospital through its first decades of transformation. Donations funded the modern facilities of the early 1900s, and it was generosity that resulted in the 1917 acquisition of the Hampshire House, a dormitory for the Bradford School of Nursing students. Yeah, I was 17 and I didn't know for sure if they would let me in the nursing school at that age, but I applied and um, my grades were good enough, so I got in. When I entered nursing, it was only $25 tuition. <laughs> and it went up considerably <laughs> since then. Big-hearted citizens of Bradford have never failed to meet the needs of the community. A $2 million project expanded the hospital from 135 beds to 219, and the world witnessed a first. I remember vividly the building of what we call a 51 project, which is an aluminum portion of the hospital. That was the first aluminum hospital in the world, and uh, uh, it was kind of a pioneer structure at the time. It was pretty, pretty amazing. I'm struck by the, the continuity of the facility and how it has come and, and how it has evolved. It's a very caring community. We care about each other and people will help one another. And I think that's why the hospital has continued after all of these years. I'm pretty passionate about this hospital, and uh, I had the privilege of knowing most of the administrators, a great, de great number of board members, and uh, and watched uh, the growth, sometimes the turmoil and the struggle that we had to get get where we're at. Uh, I am, but I guess I'd have to say that I'm the most impressed with the way that with the management team today and the way that the facility is being managed and operated. It's pretty impressive. Strategic planning is critical to the long-term success of the hospital. The management team of the hospital is constantly working with the community and trying to stay ahead of what's happening in society at the governmental regulatory levels so that we can continue to have a viable hospital far into the future. Bradford has continuously supported its hospital's growth and improvement. That generosity and foresight has resulted in our history of uninterrupted service. It's really inspiring to think that for every second, every minute, every day, every week of those 125 years, this hospital has been here to serve. It's never turned its lights off, it's never shut its doors, it's, it's inspiring. And while the uh, years ahead are gonna be very challenging for all hospitals, I think we're in a good place. Our participation in Upper Allegheny Health System will serve as well. And I think our laser focus on those we serve, on responding to the healthcare needs of the communities we serve, will stand us in good stead. And I think a testament to that is the refreshment of the physical plant, the recruitment of new physicians of late, the new technology, the new services have us in a good place. So 
We're looking forward to the next 125 years. We've always conveyed a strong sense of family here. We still are the same family we were before. Um, there's a different group maybe over top of us or overseeing us, but in the long run, it's actually been kind of nice. I get the sense that the more upper administration gets to know us as a staff, the more tools they want to give us because they can see what we're capable of. So I see that, I see that all the time. I think that the physicians here are the luckiest guys in the world to have a hospital this great and this modern. I think the hospital has done a wonderful job in, in its growth. I mean, I just think of times where I've woken up and I've had to come in or I've had to bring a family member here. What would I have done if it wouldn't have been here? I mean, it really is a big part of our community. And, but I'm so glad that I'm part of this 125th anniversary. I love the community people. I have already made lots of friends. And I see why. I see why this hospital is thriving. Bradford Regional Medical Center is part of the foundation of our community. We can, we can only hope, hope and, and pray that it continues to grow and employ more people and offer more and more services to the Bradford community. I believe that not only are we delivering the best quality of care, but we're doing so with the, with the best heart being shown, too. And it feels particularly good to have a 125th birthday and, and to see the future unfolding before you. Side by side, year by year, caring for our community. I really love that hospital. It's like one of my family, and I mean it sincerely. Right from the bottom of this old ticker, this 102-year-old ticker right there. Bradford Regional Medical Center, for this generation and the next.